Hi my dear viewers welcome back to my channel in today's video we will learn about how to arrange the given fractions in ascending order or how to order the given fractions in ascending ascending order means we have to write the given numbers or fractions from smallest to largest now to know which fraction is smallest here we have to see what type of fractions are these these fractions are like fractions because their denominators are same as you can see all the fractions here have the denominator 3 so these are like fractions so here the fraction with the smallest numerator is the smallest fraction so 2 by 3 is the smallest fraction because it has the smallest numerator then comes 4 by 3 then 7 by 3 and lastly 8 by 3 this is how we can write the fractions in ascending order if their denominators are same that means if they are like fractions if the denominators are same the fraction with the smallest numerator is the smallest fraction so here 2 by 3 is the smallest fraction and the fraction with the greatest numerator is the largest fraction that means here yet by 3 is the largest fraction now let us go to the next type here in this group of fractions if the numerators are same as you can see here in this group of fractions all the numerators are 7 that means all the numerators are same here so at this time how to write these fractions in ascending order now if the numerators are same the fraction with the greatest denominator is the smallest fraction so here 7 by 9 is the smallest fraction because it has the greatest numerator so 7 by 9 is smaller than 7 by 8 then comes 7 by 4 then 7 by 3 then lastly 7 by 2 so this is how we can write the fractions in ascending order if the numerators are same the fraction with the greatest denominator is the smallest fraction so to write the fractions in ascending order or in descending order either the denominators should be same or the numerators should be same if both are different if neither the numerators are same nor the denominators are same then how to arrange them now here in this group of fractions you can see neither the numerators are same nor the denominators are same here so we have to make either the numerator same or the denominator same so let us make the denominator same by using the method of converting unlike fractions into like fractions now these fractions are unlike fractions because their denominators are different so uh, in last video we have learned how to convert unlike fractions into like fractions we'll use the same method here first we have to take the lcm of all the denominators so we have to divide them at a same time by same number now let us divide all the denominators that is 10 5 and 2 now first we can take 2 for division okay so let us divide them by 2 5 twoza is 10 then 5 cannot be divided so write it as it is next 2 onesa is 2 next we can take 5 for the division 1 fivesa 5 1 fivesa 5 and another one so till all the numbers get completely divided we have to keep on dividing now the lcm is the multiplication of the factors here so by multiplying the factors by which we have divided all the denominators we'll get the lcm that is 2 into 5 is equal to 10 so lcm here is 10 so we have to make all the denominators here as 10 in the first fraction 7 by 10 already we have 10 as the denominator so we will not do anything to that 
will take the second fraction that is 2 by 5. Here we can use the method of writing equivalent fraction to make the denominator same. We have to multiply the denominator by any number to make it 10. We have to multiply it by 2. So, if we multiply the denominator by any number, we have to multiply the numerator also by the same number. So, again we multiply the numerator also by 2. Now, in next fraction, denominator is 2. So, to make it 10, we have to multiply it by 5. So, if we multiply the denominator by 5, we have to multiply the numerator that is 3 also by 5. Now, let us multiply and write the fractions in next step. 7 by 10, write it as it is. The next fraction will become, in numerator will get 2 into 2 is 4 by 10. Then 5 3 is a 15 divided by 5 2 is a 10. Now at this step all the denominators have become same here. Now they became like fractions. Now if the group of fractions are like fractions that is if the denominators are same the fraction with the smallest numerator is the smallest fraction. So here 4 by 10 is the smallest fraction because it has the smallest numerator. So first we will write 4 by 10 which is the smallest fraction. Then we will write the next one that is 7 by 10 comes next and the next one is 15 by 10. So here 15 by 10 is the largest fraction because it has the largest numerator. So this is how we can write the given fractions, given unlike fractions in ascending order. I hope you all have understood how to write the given fractions in ascending order under different consequences. If you like this video, do like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and for any queries, use the comment section.